Hey YouTube, uh, today I'm going to be doing a deck profile for my Eradicator Vowing Saber Dragon Reverse uh, deck for Narukami. This is my Eradicator deck, so I changed a lot of the stuff out for BT12. Some of the older stuff is still in here, uh, because I'm not a big fan of Narukami, but for some reason it's like I'm destined to play it. Narukami, and I still, I still fight against that destiny by specifically not trying to collect any of their cards, yet somehow I still manage to always pull all their cards. So to start off, we have Ambush, Dragon, Eradicator, Lynch you. This is just the same starter from BT10 that came out back in December. And then four, Eradicator heals. Eight eradic eradicator uh, triggers, critical trigger because they got a new guy from. Well, actually, never mind. No, never mind. <laughs> Forgot. I haven't played this deck in forever. And then, oh, that's right. They got a new draw trigger in BT12, but I never used it, so I'm still running the trial deck thing. So eight crit, four heal, four draw. For grade ones, I'm running three. Ceremonial Bonfire Eradicator Castor or Caster. That's just when it's placed uh, on R. You just it's that typical discard a card, draw a card. With the condition that you have to have, you know, your rear guards have to be your opponent's rear guards have to be two or less. Next three, Steel Blooded Eradicator Shuki. And then I only have two of the other one, and they aren't even like English ones because I didn't pull any of these. But anyway, four Sentinels. I actually have four of these though. But ideally, what you'd want to run for Sentinels since it's Eradicator deck is four of this Sentinel, the newer Sentinel from BT10. And then two Eradicator of Fire Kokaji. Kokaji, this is their 10k booster, but I'll probably take him out. And then two Conquering Eradicator Dokase. This is one of the new guys. Drawing him out. Moving on to grade two. We have two Double Gun Eradicator Hakusho. And two of the newer one. Yeah. Two Homing Eradicator Rochishin. I could be running these. Some people prefer to just take the older card out and put the newer one in. Because this guy actually can get up to 13,000, so he can actually attack a cross ride, like a Dayusha or something. But, I don't know, I prefer to have more uh, variety. So the only difference is this is going to be like a 12k, this is going to be a 13k. But, when you're on the defense, this guy is a 9k normally, and this is an 8k. So this is easier to be killed by like, I don't know, like a... Little Sage Marin or something that got angry. Next, one Eradicator Spark Rain Dragon. This is your 12k grade 2 for Eradicator. Uh, just one because it's from the trial deck. And then one of my favorite Eradicator cards Supreme Army Eradicator Zuitin. Or, yeah, Zuitin. He's actually a pretty good card. He's a very unique card, too. It's just too bad I don't have more than one of those. And then two, Iron Fan Eradicator Near, Near T. This is new from BT12. This is basically their Mika or their Maiden of Libra. Counter Blast 2 draw when attack hits. And then last but not least, three, Fiendish Sword Eradicator cho -O. And that's the grade 2 lineup. Grade 3 lineup is probably going to be the most interesting hodgepodge ever. So first we have the 4 Eradicator Vowing Saber Dragon Reverse. He's pretty decent on his own. And then, here's where this deck gets really weird. I'm running 1 Eradicator Vowing Sword Dragon. He is the brake ride for Eradicators and also... Um, basically, this reverse guy is him gone reversed, 
So if he's your first vanguard, you ride on top of him, you break right him or whatever. He, this also is a cross ride, so this will be 13,000, so that's the nice thing about him. Uh, but then, since I only have one of him, I had to fit in three other vanguards or grade threes. So I put in Eradicator, Gauntlet, Buster, which I pulled in the last in BT-10. Uh, and I also pulled back in BT-11, Eradicator, Sweep, Command, Dragon. This is actually my favorite uh, Eradicator out of all of them. Just because I like how he's the only... He's the most unique looking Eradicator in the sense that he's not just your typical red and yellow color scheme. He's got different colors than the rest of them. And then last but not least... I'm running Eradicator Dragonic Descendant, the one that I pulled back in BT10. So I'm running all the different All Star Eradicators, and then I have the Reverse Guy at four. So that's my eight Grade Threes for this deck. So I hope you guys enjoyed the deck. It's actually pretty interesting because, like most of the time, the opponent thinks that it's oh it's Eradicator, it's it's Vowing Saber Reverse, and then they don't expect like they see Dragonic Descendant come out and they're like what's going on here. So, it makes the deck a lot more unpredictable and interesting. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what you think of decks like this, where you kind of, instead of having just like one winning image, where it's like four of this and four break rides, it's typical, just two different vanguards. What do you think of these kind of decks that run, that tech like so many different boss monsters and essentially have so many different win conditions because of that? So just leave a comment, let me know. As always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks.